Let's talk about a few examples of when work is done. So I'm gonna use an example of me um, holding a book that's really heavy, sort of up here, right? And it makes my arms sore if I hold a book up, up high like this. Um, so here's me, uh, here's my arm and my hand, here's the book. And I'm going to walk across the room some distance D and the question is, how much work is done on the book by Dr. P? So let's assume that that book is as heavy. It might be a two kilogram book. Um, so that means that the force of gravity would be um, M times G. So the force of gravity is 20 Newtons. And so my force, the force on the book by Dr. P will be that same 20 Newtons equal forces because um, we're in equilibrium. And let's say that I go across the room, I go, mm, I don't know, uh, 15 meters. So the work done by Dr. P is going to be the force times the, the displacement. But it's not just the force in any direction. Remember, this is the force parallel to the distance traveled or parallel to the, to the displacement. And so I'm walking this way but my force is upwards. And so the angle between me and the force is uh, between, and so the angle between the direction of travel and my applied force is 90 degrees. So we can't really use this, I mean we can, but we could say that that force parallel to the direction of travel is zero. I like to think of it as this, Fd cosine theta, a little bit better. So if the work done by Dr. P is the force 20 newtons times d, 15 meters times the cosine of theta, well, the theta is 90 degrees. So this is actually zero. So I do no work on the book as I'm walking across the room, um, which is kind of counterintuitive. But if I were to take that same book um, two kilograms, and I were to uh, raise it up in the air a distance of five centimeters. So here I am again with the book, and I'm just going to raise it a distance of five centimeters at a constant speed. And so that way, I know that my force is upward, and so is the displacement. And so work done by Dr. P um, is my force 20 newtons times my displacement which needs to be in meters so my displacement of 0 0.05 meters gives me um, one newton meter or the work of one joule so instead of a book let's think about a heavy crate that's sliding across the room um, and here i am i am going to apply a force to try to stop the crate. So my force on the crate goes this way, the force on the crate by Dr. P, and then the displacement of that crate is this way. And so the angle between these two is 180 degrees. So if the work done by me is the force that I apply times the distance the crate travels times the cosine of theta, cosine of 180 is negative one. So the work that I do, um, if we just added some numbers in here, maybe I apply a force of um, five newtons and it's over a distance of two meters. Um, the work that I do would be um, negative five newtons times two meters or negative 10 joules. So interesting here, work can be negative, um, but work is not a vector. Work doesn't have directions, but it can be negative or positive. So positive work um, means that energy of the object or the system is increasing. Oftentimes that idea of the energy increasing means that it's speeding up. If the work is negative, then energy is decreasing, meaning um, the object is slowing down.
So on my walks, I oftentimes walk by the baseball field and um, I see people out there and they're like raking things and they're mowing the lawn. Um, so this is an example. Uh, before a game, the um, there's a screen that's sort of drug across all of the infield um, that's dirt to sort of smooth it out. So here's the screen and, and here's a guy and he's um, pulling uh, across this, he's pulling the screen across the ground. Um, so, uh, and here's his baseball hat. So um, if you think about all of the forces that are acting on this screen, um, we have the force of gravity, we have um, this tension force, we have the force of friction, and we have the normal force. Now, at this point, I'm not going to say anything about the velocity of this, whether it's moving at a constant speed or whether it's accelerating. Um, what I really want to talk about is the net work. So just like you can find the net force, you can find the net work, the total work, um, the sum of the work. And so this net work or the total work will just be um, the work done by gravity plus the work done by the normal force, plus the work done by friction, plus the work done by the force of tension. Okay, now if this man is moving this across the field, um, maybe a distance of uh, 40 meters, that's kind of far, but um, a distance of 40 meters across the field, um, the normal force and the force of gravity are perpendicular to that displacement. And so perpendicular forces do no work. So the work done by gravity will be zero and the work done by the normal force will be zero. The force of friction is 180 degrees um, from the uh, direction of travel. Friction is always going to be negative work. It always is in the opposite direction of motion. So the work done by friction will always be negative. So um, we get negative the force of friction times the displacement plus um, the work done by tension, which would be the force of tension times the displacement or the distance traveled times the cosine of theta. And that will give us our net work. It is not always the case that gravity does no work. Um, if you think about, uh, I have a ramp and a box, and maybe this box has some initial speed of um, 0.75 meters per second, let's say, and I'm pushing it up the ramp. Well, um, the forces on this are gonna be the force of gravity in the negative um, y direction. We get the normal force, we get the force of friction, and we get the applied force. Okay, in this case, the force of gravity is not perpendicular to the um, direction of travel. Um, if this ramp angle is five degrees, then that means this little angle is five degrees, meaning the, the angle between the distance, um, the direction of travel, and the force of gravity is going to be this whole thing. So this is going to be 90 degrees plus the ramp angle, um, which if theta is 5 degrees, then um, the work done by gravity would equal the force of gravity times um, the distance traveled times the cosine of um, 95 in this case. Now, um, you could get this by thinking that the work done by gravity is just the force parallel to the ramp times d, um, but with the recognition that it's actually negative. And so you're going to have to pop in a negative sign there. Um, so there's a couple ways that you could uh, think about that.